Hello everyone, I'm sure you've all seen the news by now about a missile landing on a farm in Shevardov in Poland, just across the Ukrainian border. The Associated Press is reporting, and now the BBC is as well, that anonymous US officials have said the missile was fired by Ukraine in an attempt to intercept a Russian missile. Whatever caused it to go into Poland, whether it was a guidance failure or what, is still unknown. So why is the US so sure that this is a Ukrainian missile? First, let's see the geolocation of where this took place. This work was done by Project Owl on Twitter, geolocating it to here. Here it is on Google Maps. So it's a farm near Severdov. Zoomed out, we can see this is just over 7 kilometers from the Ukraine border. Now let's look at the wreckage. This is the only photo of wreckage that we have from the scene. UA Weapons Tracker and Blue Boy 1969 compared wreckage and determined this was part of a 48D6 motor of an S300 5V55 missile, which is a SAM missile. Here's an image of one hole. Now some were quick to point out differences, such as the material, but this doesn't account for the fact that the material of the debris isn't visible. This bit of motor slides into the sort of metal shelf of a missile, I believe. So of course it would be hidden and difficult to see in the wreckage. If pulled out and removed from the shell, we could, if this is an accurate ID, see that it resembles it more. There is some disagreement on whether the ID is correct. Some say it is a KH-101 as seen here. If the S-300 5V55 ID is correct, then it could only have come from Ukrainian territory. It's said to be the 5V55K variant, which has a range of 75 kilometers. From here, it wouldn't reach Russia or even Belarus. Even if it is another 5V55 variant, the max range would be 150 kilometers. It leaves only a very small area of Belarus for this to be fired from. Of course, Poland and NATO and the US have much more high-tech methods than trying to ID a piece of wreckage and then work out the ranges. This CNN report says a missile was tracked by a NATO aircraft, so they would know its trajectory and where it came from. So when NATO officially releases its statement, it will be based on that. Before we finish, I did enjoy some people's theories about what happened. Some of them were quite well thought out. This one here suggests an error with the coordinates, with the target was a small airfield, which is one coordinate number different. However, the airfield in question is unused and too small for jets, as seen here. Furthermore, the creator was out with his coordinates by a bit, as seen here, so that doesn't fit, but it's quite a clever theory. This one here suggests a mistake made with the Lviv and Kiev coordinates putting in the Kiev latitude and the Lviv longitude, which led to it hitting Poland instead, when the real target would have been either Kiev or Lviv, which does fit. The line does pass Lviv to the south and Kiev to the east, but despite this being quite a good theory, that may have been valid if this was a Russian missile, I think the fact US officials are saying it was a Ukrainian air defence SAM will be based on the radar data, and I expect that will be accurate. Now despite this likely being a Ukrainian SAM, it had to be intercepting something, so the target for the missile it was intercepting would have been Lviv, there's nothing else in the area for it to hit. The interception coming from SAMs either at Lviv or possibly towards the east of Lviv. So this missile looks like it must have been fired to deliberately hug the border to approach the city from this direction, either fired from inside Belarus itself or fired over Belarus and then looping towards the south along the border to hit Lviv. It would be interesting to see if anything is released about what this S-300 was trying to intercept. So that's it for this video. If you found it interesting, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.